In this video, we're gonna talk about a TikTok growth strategy that almost no one is talking about, and that is how to properly repurpose your TikTok videos on other platforms. I'm Mike DeFrancesca, your local licensed real estate agent here in the Chicagoland area, as well as real estate coach. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the most proven strategies to get the most engagement and brand awareness, as well as growth out of using your TikTok videos by repurposing them onto other platforms like YouTube, Google, and as well as your website. We're going to talk about the four best ways to repurpose these as well as a bonus topic for anybody looking to get in a little early on a new and upcoming platform for short form video that wants to get some good organic growth. So first, we're going to start the video off by looking at YouTube. So the first reason we want to be repurposing our videos on YouTube is because YouTube is actually the number two search engine in the world and it happens to be owned by Google which is the number one search engine in the world. This means that when your videos and posts and everything are properly optimized, they're more likely to show up in the top search result that people will see when they're going to look for content related to yours. Google did a trial run of featuring short form video in their search results. And again, what that means is you have the number one search engine in the world that owns the number two search engine in the world that features short form video content. Now, also one of the great features about YouTube that none of the other platforms have is that you have the ability to actually optimize your videos or your YouTube shorts, your short form content, the way that you would any of your other YouTube videos. That is very powerful in terms of being able to be found. So you have your short form content that is being featured on the number two search engine in the world, owned by the number one, that now features short form video. And your video is now optimized to, to be found based off of those search results. So to have your videos optimized to be found, you know, using things like tags and just, you know, keywords in your descriptions and your title and things like that and basically optimizing your whole channel and every video you put out you're more likely to be found in my team we have two full master courses on youtube and i'll also be coming out with some more videos on youtube so if you want to learn more about that and how to optimize your channel on how to optimize your videos, use search engine optimization and use tools like vidIQ, <clears throat> which by the way, I absolutely would recommend. I use vidIQ on all of my videos. That's how I'm able to find the best tags and optimize my video, compare my thumbnail to others in search results, all the good stuff. I'll actually leave a link to vidIQ in the description below. You definitely want to check that out if you're serious about optimizing your videos and growing your audience on YouTube. Now that we've got our short form video already repurposed on the number two search engine in the world, obviously what we need to do next is to do that on the number one search engine in the world. The way we're going to do this is through your Google My Business. Now, if you're a real estate agent and you don't have a Google My Business, I'm not sure what you're really doing. You probably need to give me a call. You can find my information in the description below. You should definitely be have a Google My Business already set up. And if you want to learn how to optimize that, let me know. I can give you a free one on one coaching session. Again, everything's in the description below. Now, what we're going to be doing with Google My Business is we're going to be using a feature that they've released that is you'll see as an ad update. And the way I like to look at this little ad update button is essentially like uh, posting a little mini blog post to my Google My Business as like kind of a what's new or what's happening right in my business. You have a 1500 character limit on here. So you, you have some room to play with. And again, if you used optimization up here, on, like you use vidIQ or something like that. Here, let me highlight this. If you use like vidIQ up here, you can you now have like a list of keywords and tags and things that you know are going to be useful for search engine optimization and you can then repurpose those and use those down here in your like mini blog posts right so you want to keep those in mind as you're going through and optimizing because you're going to use those for everything right these are the terms that people are searching for tags keywords based off of statistics that the vidIQ application provided us that we know are being looked for Moving on, like I said, you got a 1500 character limit and you make sure you want to use your SEO again. 
guys, by the way, if I haven't mentioned this already, you can get a cleaned up version of this without my handwriting is bad, all typed out and everything. It's in my Facebook group. Again, in the link in the description below, go check it out, join there. You have all my previous video notes and as well as some additional things like some buyer's guides, seller guides that you can use. They're unbranded as well as like my new social media ebook and TikTok book, Instagram. There's tons of great content in there for you guys, only available to members of the group. So let me know if you can't get access to it, but you definitely want to get in there. There's tons of great stuff. I'll be posting new stuff in there all the time. Before we move on from Google, the last thing I want to say is make sure you include a call to action. You have the ability to include a call to action. You can put a link to your Calendly. You can put a link to your website, whatever it is, using a learn more, a book with me or whatever. There's some different options in there. Make sure you take advantage of that. Get people who find you in the search results. Have, give them a way to connect with you. Give them a way to reach out. If they found you and they're looking for a way and you have it right there, it's ease of access. It's convenient. They're gonna. There's a good chance they're going to use it. And the third thing we're going to look at here is you putting a blog post out that we can then optimize and embed our video or link our video to. Uh, I use my KV Core built-in platform. We get KV Core for free as an EXP Realty agent. I know other brokerages pay, you know, thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars a year for it, but we do get that free here at EXP Realty. So if that's something you're looking to leverage and possibly thinking about a switch, you may want to reach out to me. Now moving along, when we talk about a blog post, I'm not talking about something really in depth, right? I'm talking about just a couple of paragraphs. That's all you really need for a blog post, just a couple of paragraphs, right? And you wanna make sure again, you're including all of your keywords that you got from when you were optimizing your YouTube video. That's one of the reasons why we did that first is because you can gain lots of insight onto how to optimize this across all of the platforms. If you do have an IDX connected website, this can lead to some serious lead generation. And the reason for that is because as you can see, on my website, if you look through my website, I'll show an example of that here. You can see I have my blog post, everything is here. It's optimized to be found. So it's more likely gonna be found in a search engine along with it being on Google and on YouTube and everything being optimized with specific keywords that people are looking for. It's gonna be found somewhere. And if you happen to end up on my website here, <clears throat> you can see there's, um, there's gonna be previews of properties. There's gonna be search forms you can sign up for you know, search alerts or do a cost market analysis and all these things. So if people are on my website and they're finding these blog posts by looking for these keywords and trying to find this information, and I've provided a couple of paragraphs of some valuable information, plus a video that I've embedded now into my website or my blog post, people get tons of value from this. And then they can also start to explore on my website and may even reach out to me as a knowledgeable expert, since they're seeing all my videos, they're seeing my blog posts, they're using my very well-designed website that works great and provides tons of value. Now they want to reach out to me. I'm not even calling them and asking for their business. You see how this all starts to come together. You provide value, you optimize, people start to find you, find your value, and then they want your business. Before we move on, I wanna talk about embedding your video. I know I said you can embed or link. Ideally, we want to be embedding our video. And if you don't know the difference between embedding or linking, Linking is when you're just gonna put the links somebody can click on it and leave your blog to go to another website to view the video. Whereas if you embed it, the video is actually there in the blog so, so it can be viewed from my website. And it's also bringing that optimized traffic that comes along with it from YouTube. So the last one I wanna talk about is more of brand awareness and building that like no trust factor. If you haven't already seen this video about the real estate agent strategies on Instagram, you should definitely watch that right after this video. We're going to talk about how you can be repurposing your TikTok short form videos on Instagram as an Instagram reel, as a post, a story, a highlight, all of the above, as well as share to Facebook directly from Instagram. And the main thing about Instagram is on the algorithm, they don't like to see the watermarks on the videos from TikTok. So if you download your TikTok directly, I mean, if you download your video directly from TikTok, <clears throat> it's gonna come with a watermark. Now, you can actually record, screen record the preview of your TikTok before you actually post it live. 
and grab a clean screen recording of the video with no watermark. You can chop it up to exactly how you want the video and you can use that. But if you forgot to do that or just didn't want to do it that way, you can actually use snaptick.com and you actually just put the link to your video in there and you'll be able to download it without a watermark. So once you do that, <clears throat> then you want to take your video and remember we're going to do we're going to do real post story and then highlight and i'm saying this in that correct order or in this particular order because that's the exact order we're going to do it in all right as we can see i got my instagram account pulled up here and again we're going to start with our reels first so i'm going to go to reels um, i've already got one pre-recorded and ready to go drafted and optimized and everything and if you want again i've got a video on how to do this i got a course on how to do this we've got the social agent academy all tons of great stuff that you get free on our team here with wolfpack all right so um <clears throat> you see here i already got my video ready to go it's already optimized i got my cover selected i've got my hashtags and everything right so i'm gonna go ahead and share this video all right, so you can see I got it on my reels. It's automatically posting right on my feed. So you can see right here, it's on my feed. We grab it right here. And then from there, I want to take this and I'm going to go add reel to the story. Right? And then so I can do like some little optimization here, maybe change the color. I like the way that looks, kind of matches what I have going on. If I want to add some additional text on here, I can. Maybe an additional call to action or a hashtag or maybe you know you know who can relate right something like that i don't know something like that we'll put that on there and then we'll go ahead and hit continue and sharing story bam now from right here you could just hit done or like what i have as you see i have my highlights set up here so i have a highlight specifically and used just for tiktoks so I send that there, hit done. Now we're done. And you can see, if I go back, I can see that on my story there. And it's automatically part of my highlights. So if I go to my highlights, well, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but it's there, trust me. And it's also shared to my Facebook. So by repurposing your TikToks on Instagram, you're allowing your different audiences to receive the same value across the different platforms. Now, obviously, as you grow and get bigger, you're probably going to want to have different strategies across your different platforms and you can, you can cross promote and then get traffic from different sources back and forth, etc. But for now, this is a great strategy and you need to be taking advantage of it and using it to grow. TikTok is a great platform for organic growth right now if you want to grow build customer base, build your brand. Now's the time to do it, take advantage. Now, if I did provide you with any value today, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you wanna see more content like this, do me a favor and subscribe and turn on those notifications. Now, for the people who didn't just leave when I said that, you get the bonus content. And the bonus content is Pinterest. You say Pinterest what Pinterest has been around forever yes I know but Pinterest is starting to feature short form videos and you can do these by using new idea pins and the reason why I'm talking about Pinterest is because the organic growth on there right now is insane my first post on Pinterest got like 2,500 views like whatever it is it was right here or right here wherever I put it I don't know whatever but the organic growth on there is huge and i actually had somebody reach out to me the other day and well they actually reached out a couple days ago but i'm not checking pinterest like i should be until now just because i was just putting content on there just to get awareness and grow my brand on pinterest already and so if anybody's interested in getting a one-on-one -on -one course about how to be put how you should be using and uploading your videos on pinterest let me know or book it right in my calendar and I'll walk you through how you can optimize the tags, repurpose your videos on Pinterest. All right, now that being said, if you did get real value from this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to be notified when new videos like this come out. I will be putting a lot more content coming soon, so be on the lookout and I'll see you in the next video.